thank you very much for coming to this, uh, to this uh, uh, panel, to these presentations. Um, I give some, uh, some facts and figures about this, um, this course, so about CAS Rebuild Ukraine. So this is a certificate of advanced studies. So here is the, the, the figures that you might, um, you might remember and that you might be interested in. So this training program is re really practice-oriented advanced training program for Ukrainians who are now in Switzerland due to, the, due to the war as refugees, but also to the Ukrainians who are already living in Switzerland and to those organizations that would like to come to Ukraine and help uh, to rebuild that. Uh, in this class, in this, in this program, in this training program, we cover those modules that Thomas just present, and uh, it's a really uh, uh, public-private initiatives, because uh, as yesterday you, uh, you may remember, uh, SECO mentioned a few times, it's a really success story. It was financed by SECO, the development, the preparation of this program, but then private, um, private companies, private individuals in, in uh, Switzerland uh, took a responsibility or took uh, initiative to cover costs for the studies of, um, of, uh, of the Ukrainians who applied for this program and it's uh, the program was uh, actually well supported by Ukrainian authorities and they consider this as a very important uh, step to build uh, f uh, future leaders uh, for rebuilding Ukraine it's a uh, um, we in this case, we we got on board the leading Swiss companies that host uh, uh, the classes of Cas Rebuild Ukraine to share the latest know-how and best practices with our students and uh, also private individuals, as I mentioned, and, and businesses uh, took sponsorship, so they pay study expenses. And now we have 30 Ukrainian uh, students, uh, 27 uh, women and three men, so they are here in this, uh, in this hall, so we are very happy uh, that you are with us. And we are very happy that we can support you to build new knowledge and experience for rebuilding Ukraine. Um, uh, the very important thing that I would like to mention that we are not only do the training, we not only share the knowledge, some theoretical knowledge and have some visits to the companies, but we also work on real projects. And these real projects are very diverse. And you will have a chance to hear about all of them today because um, uh, we will have um, um, uh, the session related to this Cas Rebuild Ukraine also in the afternoon. There, our students will present their projects. Um, what is important within our our uh, training program is that we are not only train people, share knowledge, but we also set up a platform for creating a network between the universities, private individuals and companies here in Switzerland and also in Ukraine. And if you are interested to, to join our network, so please, uh, please visit our, our web page and uh, register uh, so we get back to you and we uh, uh, will be happy to collaborate. Um, what we have observed is that we have really strong interest among Ukrainians in Switzerland in joining the CAS, and we, as Thomas mentioned, so many applications, so we will, um, we will try to figure out how we can scale up this project, but we also plan um, next enrollment. It will start in October, so please apply if you are interested. Um, a few words about the concept. Um, related to how we really design this this uh, training program, uh, it's uh, it's about to create a leaders of change that could really bring in new knowledge and uh, help rebuild uh, Ukraine in the new in the build back better and greener and. Uh, absolutely new country. So we have these uh, four uh, focus areas. It's a construction, reconstruction, so we share some innovative approaches. We focus on circularity. 
uh, we focus on renewable uh, materials for the reconstruction process. We also focus on digital tools for rebuilding, so we try to share knowledge how apply and what are the different new approaches and technology exist. Uh, the very strong focus is sustainability. So we talk about sustainable development goals. We talk about the potential of bioenergy, about the renewable resources, energy re efficiency in rebuilding process, and also about the sustainable use of natural resources. A very important component of our program is empowerment. So we really tr want to empower our participants um, to be uh, leaders of change, and we talk about the corruption prevention. We talk a lot about the gender equality, about better governance, about social innovations, how from the uh, in how initiatives could be developed, not from uh, top down but bottom up, and we also. Uh, make sure that uh, very good networking opportunities are ensured. Um, yeah, here's how it's designed. So we have shared theoretical knowledge about, uh, as I mentioned, sustainability, innovation, and circularity. We have practical knowledge because we are University of Applied Science. So we have really strong connections with, with companies. So we visit companies and look how it, how these best practices are really implemented and applied here in Switzerland. But the, as I mentioned, important component is the networking and real project preparation. Uh, and these projects are the following. So it's um, about the setting up the concept for nursing homes for disabled people, for example, creating uh, modules near destroyed schools so that the education process could be restored immediately. We don't uh, wait until the school is reconstructed, as it takes a long time. The kindergartens, for example, new approaches to create those nice kindergartens out of wood for internally displaced uh, children. That's the smart village concept. It's about empowerment communities to trigger positive changes and social innovation from the bottom up, and also sustainable uh, energy productions. Um, and one of the very nice projects is about technology transfer for sustainable innovations and rebuilding Ukraine. So how those technology, the very modern, recent, technology could be applied um, in Ukraine for the building process. And uh, yeah, it's kind of an uh, advertisement. I uh, really invite you to our session in the afternoon after this panel to join room B3 to talk a little bit more in details. We, we invited uh, companies that support us in the CAS and we also will talk about the real project. So we really invite stakeholders from Ukraine and other uh, interested um, people from Switzerland who would like to cooperate. So thank you very much.